Good morning, everybody. It is week 20 of your keto journey. Keto for a lot of people here. And as you can see, look, my cabinets are open. And I don't know if I can back this up, but I have emptied out all of my cabinets. Today, for me, is about making some choices. Look, I've been keto now for going on 18 months. And, uh... I couldn't see in what I had in my cabinets, in my pantry, and so I have, I'm going to pan you guys. I want you to see this. <laughs> and it might be time for you to clean out some closets. You might need to clean your clothes closets. You might need to take stock and see what's in your pantry. But I thought, well, I think this is an opportunity for us to... Uh, check out some products because you know hey why not if you've got any question about anything you might see along here i'll try my best to share it with you and uh yeah, yeah i need to organize i need to organize my life <laughs> at least these pantries they drive me absolutely bonkers bonkers i hope everybody had a wonderful mother's day by the way ours was just kind of quiet easy going i enjoyed it best part i mean of course we went out and had lunch with the grandmas and myself and one of my daughters and it was good but i i was happy to get home chill out and watch game of thrones last night happy mother's day yes game of thrones it's driving me nuts all right let's go i'm gonna pan y'all here so you can uh ugh, see what i am dealing with look at these look at these counters Look at my, <laughs> let me see if I can do this here. Um, whoop. Look, look at y'all. My cabinet countertops are just full, full, full. Uh, let me swing you back around and then tighten you down, tighten you down. And then let's see here. So I'm really surprised because I don't have as much non-keto stuff as I thought. So over the last year, like this sugar, I just put in a canister. This is just straight up sugar. And it was bought for the purpose of feeding hummingbirds and that's all it gets used for. So I'm not gonna throw away the sugar because hummingbirds like it, but nobody in our house has eaten it since uh, out of just straight table sugar since last summer. So this is one of the things that I am keeping and another wonderful Mother's Day gift is the fact that I got my husband to sit down and watch that sugar film with me yesterday uh, or Saturday. And uh, so he is in the process of breaking his sugar habit, including carbs that can turn into sugar. So, um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. In the meantime, I just can't make myself toss away that container of flour quite yet because... We do have a few non-keto people come into the house. Now, that being said, I see a lot. Oh, there, I see some hearts. That being said, um, the other decision that I made uh, is to not bake for people anymore. <laughs> non-keto food. Because in, my, in the past, when I was in keto, I would make all the birthday cakes for my grandchildren, and then it turned into people uh, making recommendations on Facebook on those swap and shop style things, or you know, you have those groups where people sell stuff, and somebody would come on and go, Hey, I need a birthday cake for this or that, and somebody would always put my name in the hat. And I did my last two birthday cakes last summer, July into August, I think, and it was hard. It was hard because I taste everything that I make. And so when I was making these cakes, and I am, I, I, not to toot my own horn, but I make some of the best buttercream frosting <laughs> that you ever tasted. But I have to taste it to make sure it tastes right. And so I, I was trying to use the finger test for fat to sugar to make sure it was smooth. And I had to taste it. And it tasted absolutely disgusting. But... Just because it tasted disgusting to me didn't mean it was sweet enough for non-keto people. And at that point, I realized that, that I'm doing them a disservice by making them sugary things. And I can't taste it and do quality control. So now I'm at a spot where I have all of these um, like fondants and sprinkles and cake 
stuff. I'm keeping the tips and all that because I can still make keto cakes and keto birthday cakes and work on that. But I've got bags of powdered sugar and I've got bags of brown sugar. I've got bottles of molasses and corn syrup, uh, sweetened coconut. I mean, just anything you can think of for baking. I have been, you know, always kept a stocked pantry on that. So um, I'm going to bag it up. And I'm going to see if I've got some non-keto family that might be able to use it. Because I don't want to waste the money. I mean, just a box of fondant alone is like 8 or $9. So, and then you don't, all of this stuff in here is just all like brand new. It's just sitting there. So, I can't see any comments. Can somebody say hi? Because maybe Facebook is doing something different. I'm only seeing who's here. I'm not seeing any comments. I saw a couple of hearts. So I'm hoping that Facebook, I noticed that I couldn't go live from my own page. It said I could take photos. It said that I could do a watch party, but my live option was gone. I had to go to an app to get my page to go live today. That's all I can say about that. So uh, another thing that I want to share with you guys, it is week 20 and uh, I've got some challenges. I don't have as big a budget to work with this week as far as groceries go, and I love cooking and doing tutorials for y'all, but um, my real life situation is that it's going to be pretty simple. I mean, I'm squeaking by this week. We had a few unexpected expenses, so I'm just, I thought, well, I'll just take stock of my, what's in my freezer. There's some ground beef and there's some chicken. That's it. That's, that's it. And that's not bad. I'm just saying. It's going to be something with ground beef or chicken. <laughs> um, maybe some eggs. I've got to get some eggs. But, um, yeah. I am down to a box of lasagna, I think, noodles. Uh, pasta noodles. We're done. My husband is not doing any sugaries. Now, this is where I've, I've guided him to try to step down off of his sugars. He, he has a few things left in his truck. He's not, he is not buying any ice creams or any of the, you know, juice. He, he said, I'll quit the orange juice. I'll quit the uh, uh, pastries and all of that sort of stuff. But he is going to finish off things like instant potatoes that he's got, uh, some peanut butter with sugar, uh, Pretty much, I made him a keto meatloaf yesterday so that he could take it out on the road with him. He, I said, you've been eating keto meatloaf. You just didn't know it. He goes, well, it's really good. I said, yes, yes, it is. So, got that. And I've got some crackers and a, just really peanut butter. That Some tortillas. And then the baking supplies. That's the only non-keto stuff I have left in my pantry. Oh, and I've got like cream of chicken soup, chickpeas, uh, a can of mini raviolis and a can of kidney beans chicken noodle soup that is my what's left in my non-keto pantry yeah I am not getting any comments at all zip a zero a nada so we're just gonna I'll just keep talking and then what I'll do is I will uh, go back through the comments golly just drives me nuts drives me nuts Facebook drives me nuts now on the keto side you know, we've got, I've got all kinds of products. I've got my almond flour. I've got my erythritol. I've got a whole bunch of different sweeteners. I keep extracts. So, like, <clears throat> almond flour. I'm learning that almond flour and I don't get along as great as we used to. And that, for me, is a little bit sad. Um, I do very lightly on this because I've noticed whenever I eat almond flour, I get some inflammation going. Wah, wah, wah. That's why I hope y'all like the muffins that I made because I made them without any almond flour and I used coconut flour. Didn't seem to have an issue with it. So um, I can have the almond flour. I just have to go very sparse. Like if I make my nutritional yeast bread, which I only make every month or so anyway, then I'll have like one a day and it's not so bad. But if I make too many things and add this to it, I become very bloated, I noticed. Um, I keep this brand of powdered erythritol. This t was sent to me by one of our group members and there was a really wonderful keto care package and I enjoy this better than Swerve. It is the um, So Nourished powdered 100% natural erythritol um, it is a 40 ounce bag 
so it is a really big bag and it goes a long way I made some icing with this I didn't get that weird cooling effect when I made the uh, lemon coconut blueberry muffins mini muffins I just took a little cream cheese a little of this a little almond milk or macadamia nut milk one or the other and I made a glaze wonderful product uh, so if you're into doing things with powdered sweetener uh, look for the so nourished it's it's delicious I liked it so these are the things I'm getting ready to start putting back up in my pantry um, of course I've got some keto fit bars that were sent to me to try I did a product review for those things I don't I'm not affiliated so I don't make any money but I will say that these are absolutely delicious um, if you need to like I saw uh, Danny uh, is, uh, or Dana is flying out, no, Deanna, sorry, is flying out to Vegas. Deborah is on her way on a cruise. These, I will give it two thumbs up because they're so high in fat. They have pure keto ingredients. They taste good. They're not chalky. They're not that whey protein taste. They're just really good, and they're super, super high in fat, so uh, this would be really good. Now, if you, Elizabeth uh, started a new job today in an office setting. Uh, she's very blessed. She took some of these to put in her bag so that she could just keep herself going. The other thing that she took with her is a keto chow shake, and it's already made up. She got the strawberry one. Um, a little recommendation, if you are really watching your carbs, you can make keto chow shakes with uh, either ha uh, whole heavy cream or avocado oil or a mixture of both. So I made the first one because I was out of avocado oil with the heavy cream. It was so rich, so rich. I mean, I love fat, but it was rich. And I ended up with eight carbs because that's a half a cup of heavy cream. So uh, the ones I made up today, which I haven't even, I've got, I'm going to try the salted caramel. I haven't made up. I'll give it a try. It is made with 100% avocado oil and it's going to be nice high fat, two carbs for the whole thing, two total carbs. So big difference on what you use to make it up. Um, now, guys, I, I have, uh, I used 100% the unsweetened macadamia nut milk. This is almost, you could almost make this a pudding. It's so thick and rich. And tasty. Again, I'm not affiliated with Keto Chow in the sense that I'm in their ambassador program, which means like they send me products to try. Um, I can share a 10% discount for your first order, but I, that's it. That's as far as it goes. I just, you know, I'll do a product review. And so I made this up this morning, and I want you to see the texture of this. I made it up in my Ninja Blender. Do you see how thick that is? And decadent? I mean, it's like... Is that gross? No, ma'am, it is not gross. It is yummy. You want to taste it? Okay. What do you think? That's yummy, huh? Mm -hmm. So, by using the avocado oil for my fat source in this, this is the salted caramel, by the way. It is delicious. I think that this could be taken and put into my ice cream churn, and this would be some excellent ice cream. Delish. Deliciousness. I cannot believe how thick and yummy that is. I just recommended this to one of our other ladies. She's fixing to have a, a procedure done. So, if I'm going to put this up for now. I'll finish it later. Just broke my fast, by the way. Uh, what did I do with the thing I licked? Oh, here it is. So, there's been a lot of times, like, people get sick, and or you have a procedure coming up, and they want to put you on a liquid diet. Boom, baby. In comes Keto Chow. They have 18 flavors. They also have a creamy chicken soup, so you can do it hot. And it'll still give you all your fat. It'll still give you all, all your vitamins. Oh, let me see here. That tastes like lotion. It tastes like lotion? I don't think so. So, in this, you're going to get the scoop of mix itself. The mix by itself is only uh, net carbs. 
It's total carbs is 8.27, then 6.73. It has zero added sugars, total sugars. Your net carb is 1.53 on the package itself. So whatever you mix with it. Now if you add the avocado oil, it's still only 1.53 every time, baby girl. And then it says if you do it with half a cup of heavy cream, it says 4.83. I got eight, just depending on the cream. Just a second, my little girl made me. Barry, you are gonna have to do this on your own. Yeah, I know, but you gotta wipe your own booty. <laughs> Every single time I have this child and I do a live, she has to go TT and she's like, Could you please help me? So, anywho, this is great because, you know, if you do it with a quarter cup, you're gonna get uh, 54 grams of fat. It is a complete keto meal. I know, right? I see the laughter. It is a complete keto meal. You, you aren't using this as a snack in between. 54 grams of fat for most people is half a day of worth of fat because we usually get somewhere between what like 95 and 120 grams of fat a day so anywho this is one of my favorite products right here I have got to get some more you can buy those what I like about keto chow and this is just another thing that I'm going to say is that if you want to try uh, just one packet they're four dollars and 25 cents for a meal you can't, you know, you can't go to McDonald's and get the $5 meal anymore, I guess. This is less than 5 bucks for a complete keto meal. But if you want to try flavors before you commit to something, then you can uh, buy them individually. Or you can buy them in a starter bundle, and it has a shaker cup that comes along with it. And you get like six packets. Or you can just buy their sample packs. And they have different categories of sample packs so very versatile and then say you like one flavor better than every other flavor or maybe two flavors they come in really big bags with a uh, scoop and you can just buy the big bag of your favorite flavor again good stuff you get 21 shakes out of a big bag and it's like 50 something bucks so if you're doing one or two a day depending if you do one a day that's 21 days worth for 50 something bucks I think it's a good deal and I'm moving on. My not so keto but low carb indulgence, once a month, you guys, once a month, I go to the store and if they are in stock, I will buy two bags of Quest chips in the Cool Ranch and two bags in the nacho cheese. And Elizabeth gets two and I get two. And this, this just kinda is like, I guess my step off that I love because I can have it with a Diet Coke or something and it just gives me a bag of chips and a Coke. Sometimes that's just want that crunch or I want salsa and chips. This takes care of it. I don't keep it stocked in my pantry all the time, but I just, and once a month I go. And this month, this week, they're on sale at Walmart for $1.98 instead of $2.98 a bag. So I was happy. So I got a couple of bags of those. Now, I'm not organizing. I'm just setting it out of my way as I go through it. <laughs> um, okay, other things. People say collagen. What do you use? This, what I have in stock. It's not necessarily what I use, y'all. But, you know, I do have companies that have been really good. I've got, a, like, a glare on there. This is Tetonics Pure Collagen Peptides. This stuff is great. It's delicious. I try to use it sparingly. You hear that sparingly because it's so good um, and so great and it tastes so wonderfully pineapple-y coconut it tastes like a pina colada and so and it's kind of pricey I won't I won't lie this is sort of pricey but if you are getting ready for your summer months and you're wanting to say have a mixed drink say you want to put a little bit of rum with this and some ice and make a pina coladas for a special occasion this summer this you can use it it's good, like I said, the benefits for your joints and your hair and your skin, your nails, awesome. But for me, it's, I want to save it and use it to make specialty drinks and things like that with, and I only, I'm holding on to it. So, I do have collagen, but this one I use for special occasions because it is so darn delicious. And it is Tetonics Collagen Elixir Pineapple and Coconut Water. 
It's 12,500 milligrams. It's pure, pure collagen peptides. 2,500 milligrams of caprylic and capric triglycerides and 150 milligrams of organic white tea polyphenols. So it is good. Advanced Beauty Nutrition. That's one of my favorites, but I don't use it regularly. I use it for special occasions. All right, moving on. So I haven't tried this yet. It was in my keto crate. It is a Keygenics keto meal, ketone meal replacement. It's a vanilla flavor. Um, total carbohydrates are eight, fiber is three. So this package has five net carbs. It's full of all of your vitamins. It has 10 grams of fat. See, this to me is something like a snack. This doesn't to me say meal replacement. Now, I don't know because it's not really high in fiber. It's not really high in fat. It only has 10 grams of protein. So to me, it's not a meal replacement. It's more like a in-between type of deal. And if that's your thing, I haven't got to try them yet, but it when you take this and you compare it to uh, uh, actual keto meal replacement this one wins for me um, really hands down difference you could you could add fat to this because you have to add fat to this but protein I didn't even mention that 25 grams of protein so you're getting your protein you're getting your fat and you're keeping your carbs low I put that in there moving on oh let's talk about another treat that comes into our house occasionally that is not keto but we can use it. And that is a bag of Russell Stover's sugar-free chocolate variety pack. These things are the devil. Horns and all. <laughs> but Elizabeth, myself, and Harvey, so if you take this between three people, right, and We'll even let the kids have one or two. The maltitol in it is god awful. It will give you such GI upset. And I don't know why, but we're gluttons once a month. This was Mother's Day. Elizabeth wanted something sweet. Um, or when Harvey comes, they'll just sometimes just want something sweet on hand. And so those sit there. They will last a while. Uh, I, every single time I eat them, I blow up. I literally blow up. Gas bubbles walking farts you name it i got it i gotta go hide away from public when i if i eat those <laughs> didn't mean to be too too graphic but it's I, I got tickled my husband ate one yesterday and he was like standing there he's like Ugh! i didn't even have the heart to tell him did not even tell him he said but it could have been the beans because he's you know finishing up his groceries in the house so yeah not something i would recommend it's not the worst thing you can do it is not near the best. Is it keto? No. Is it low carb? Yes. Would I say, hey, have at these and use these like fat bombs? Heck no. But I'm just wanting to keep it real with you guys. What's in my pantry and how do we use it and how often do we use it? This is so strange just me talking and talking without all of the interaction going back and forth because I can't see one question or one comment. So anyways, that's another thing. Now we're going to start getting down. Oh, wisps. I have these two. These are another wonderful uh, snack for crunchy or adding to salads or just dipping into things. Guacamole, you know, egg salad. These are the 100% cheddar wisps. I'm sure you guys have all seen them. This is one of the things we like to keep a bag of. We probably go through one bag a month is all. This is, and when it comes to keto snack foods or keto fast snack foods that you can buy pre-packaged at the store, we love the Whis. Um, I wish they were a little bigger, uh, and it's the only brand that we have in our area right now. So I do wish they had, uh, they were a little bigger, so you could dip them a little easier. Other than that, we go through about a bag of these a month between two of us. Sometimes Harvey too, not as often. But let's see, do I have any other snacky stuff that I do? All right, so one of my go-to snacks that I make up myself that I truly enjoy is I keep unsweetened coconut shreds in the house. I like these for multiple reasons. I, I love this small shred. I have a bag of the small shredded coconut. But I love, love this stuff. It's the uh, 
Let's do organic, unsweetened coconut flakes. It's only like $2.67 for a bag of these at my health food store. And uh, I love how big the flakes are. They're so yummy. And when you take these, mm, to me, they just naturally taste sweet and they're fluffy. And then we have slivered almonds. So we like to take slivered almonds, mix it with a little bit of the coconut flakes. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of the um, Lily's miniature chocolate chips, and maybe some walnuts or pecans, and it makes a great bowl of just like muesli um, that you can put some unsweetened almond or macadamia or coconut milk on, and it makes wonderful cereal. And then it's, sometimes we don't put any milk on it. Sometimes we just snack on it like a dry snack, like a trail mix. So that's one of our go-tos and I try to keep this stuff on hand all the time all the time because I can use it in my baking as well as snacking almonds obviously you can make rice peel off you can you know eat them straight up you can make your trail mix with the almonds but I also just like to put them in salads to add some crunch so we have the sliced almonds I need to incorporate this bag into that bag mm. new product review so I was at a Drug Emporium on Friday, picking up a few things, and I saw this, $4.55, y'all, for Lakanto Monk Fruit Sugar-Free Stone Ground Bean to Bar Vegan Dairy-Free Gluten-Free Keto-Friendly 55% Cacao Chocolate. So Lakanto is coming out with their own chocolate bars, and uh, it has uh, cocoa, uh, monk fruit, the Lancanto sweetener, um, vegetable fiber, sunflower, lettuce, and sea salt, and natural flavors. Don't know what natural flavors are. So me and Elizabeth kind of worked on this bar. We did not finish it. Um, the more you eat, it has to me that weird cooling taste. It has a weird aftertaste. Um, and it's not quite as creamy as chocolate. It has more of that baker's chocolate mouthfeel. So it doesn't just kind of melt away and offer that. I think they have a good concept using the monk fruit and the erythritol as a sweetener, but I still think there's going to be a little work to be done on that. So I kind of give it a, eh. If you're desperate, I, this is better for you than them Russell Server chocolates, that's for sure. But that tastes better than this. So you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Mmm. All right. Now we're going to just get into stuff that I have which y'all know that I like certain keto products, perfect keto products. Um, and I was coming down to, I have Keto Nootropics, the MCT Oil Powder Matcha Tea, which I'm going to have a big old glass of this today. Um, the Lemongrass. So if you want to get your greens in, this one, oh, it's Greens Lemon. So if you feel like you need all that green stuff, but you don't want the carbs, this and let me put this in here. I don't use them all the time, guys. I just don't. I have, there's just so much stuff that I'm working on. I pretty much stick to water, coffee and water. And then I have my Diet Coke a few times a week. Um, and I make passion tea. And I'm fixing to make a big passion tea up. Um, Perfect Keto Exogenous Ketones. I took some of these out to Florida with me. They got to try them. I got good feedback. I tell everybody, if you are going to buy exogenous ketones thinking you're going to keep yourself in better keto, burning, fat burning mode, if you think you're going to lose weight because of exogenous ketones, then you're going to be disappointed. Because one big company, prove it, touts this stuff as weight loss and it is not. It doesn't. It doesn't. I have not met anybody who has been using this product for weight loss and have those kind of results. But everybody I do meet who likes to use exogenous ketones for extra energy and mental clarity, it's all in this jar right here. That's what happens. This is the, and it comes with a scoop. So if you want extra energy, if you need extra energy, and you just like that pick me up, and I love the coffee base, this is something I like to do once a week. Because why? If you stop and think about it, I could go and spend five dollars at Starbucks on a Frappuccino that I'm not sure about, okay, an iced coffee drink 
with whipped cream and syrup. I loved use. I used to love going to Starbucks. I used to love having in the summer frappuccinos and lattes in the fall and the winter. But it's pricey. It's full of sugar. You can't always trust what you're getting unless you watch them make it. To me, this was my Starbucks replacement. And if you buy one, just saying, it, and I am affiliated with this company, so if you buy some of this, I get a kickback, okay? I do get a kickback on each jar of this that's sold or any of the Perfect Keto products. Um, but they have other flavors too, the salted caramel, the chocolate sea salt, and, and uh, peach and yummy yummies, but coffee base is my favorite because it ticks it off the box. Plus, I'm going to get the energy and the mental clarity. Love, love, love this stuff. Um... All right, now, as far as my pantry items go, guys, you know I keep my thickeners. I have guar gum. I know you can't see that with that glare, it's so white. I have xanthan gum, and I have glucomannan, which is also known as konjac root. These are my three go-to thickeners. I am fixing to add a new thickener to this because I'm gonna try it. Uh, I don't know how soon. I've gotta get my budget going again for adding products. But I've been doing a lot of reading about inulin. If you guys have heard of inulin, or there's another one, poly, polydextrose. There's two, really. Both of them are very high fiber, but they have a sweetness and thickness to them. So it would be like a sweetener thickener. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't count as a sugar. Because really, it comes from like, one of them comes from chicory root. And it has its own sweetness. And that's what you're finding in a lot of the keto products that we have out there today. Um, I'm looking at buying it as a baking tool, a cooking tool. I really want to add it. I'm studying ice creams, studying all the different things that we're going to have for this summer that people like to have. Um, so I will, when I get the opportunity, to be purchasing two more. I haven't found them in the store, so I think I'm going to have to go online and order them. Now we're going to get down to, what do I have over here? Now, I know there was some things mentioned about um, Miracle Flower. There was a couple of comments and questions. Somebody said, hey, do you think your Miracle Flower will be good in your nutritional yeast bread? I gave one bag to some one of my relatives who went keto. I think it was my daughter-in-law, Jessica. So I have a full one and then I have a partial one, that's my oat fiber, in here. This adds nice texture to things, but I have yet to be able to find anything. If I add too much of this, then I get a bitter aftertaste that I don't like. So I'm up in the air about the lupin flower and I'm really disappointed because I wanted to really be able to, you know, have an alternative flower that wasn't connected to almond flour or coconut flour. I wanted something else that I could use. Um, it's hard for me to work with this and, and find that fine line of going. Now, I did research more on lupin flour, and I learned that there's a difference between lupin flour and what they call sweet lupin flour. One has bitterness, and I think that's the one I got, and one doesn't. So, when my budget allows, I will try to, uh, find the sweet lupin flour and see if, because I really want to go in there with pasta. I wouldn't mind adding it to bread or making cakes or muffins or any of the baked goods, pie crusts, all those kind of things, crackers, whatever it is that we would use flour for. I wanted to find a good alternative. So in the meantime, it's just sitting here. Um, I'm going to have to pull that all out again and organize it. And then we get down to psyllium husk. I'm a fan of the whole psyllium husk, guys. This stuff is so high fiber. You can use it in smoothies. Of course, I use it to make nutritional yeast bread, but you can add this as a thickener as well. You can put it in powder, put it in a coffee grinder, a little grind it up or an herb grinder, food processor and powder it, or you can buy it powdered. But it also acts as a thickener and a fiber. So I like this particular Now brand because when I'm baking with it, it does not go purple on me. It stays the true to color. And one thing about psyllium husk, when it's in the oven, it gets super dark. But I notice it actually lightens up when your baked good cools down. It's not as dark as how it looks in the oven. So maybe it's kind of brownish, but then it, it changes color. So um, love that. High fiber, super nutritious, guys. Um, zero fat. 
total carbohydrates eight, total fiber uh, seven, insoluble one, so it zeroes out. It's super high in uh, iron, 10%, really, uh, per level tablespoon. And then high, it has potassium in it. So, love, love, love. And then you guys, I gave away so many sweeteners already. Sweeteners, sweeteners. I have got sweeteners like all over the place. Um, I gave away five or six bags of sweetener this uh, two weeks ago. Let me see if I grabbed all of it. I did. So this is what I'm down to. I'm out of all yellows. <laughs> I need all yellows, but I do have an all yellows blend. Again, I'm kind of like this on it because. This is a blend of pure allulose, stevia, and monk fruit. All right. You wouldn't think so bad, but for me, because if you like stevia and you don't get that little bitterness, great. If you do, you might taste a little bit. So, But it's a great product. I have to give this a thumbs up because it's a wonderful blend of three of your favorite sweeteners. And um, it's a... This is a one-to-one, -one. so if something calls for a cup of sugar, you can equally use it equally. You don't have to adjust it, so that's the wonderful thing. Um, Allulose Plus is what it's called, and it's by Wholesome Provision Company. Good stuff. Um, I have the Lakanto Monk Fruit. This is the Golden. It's a great sweetener. I, I enjoy it very much. I have a little dab of the Sola sweetener. This one I'm kind of uh, leery of. Um, it was given to me when I was down at the low-carb Houston conference, and I gave the unopened bag away. I kept this one that had a little bit in it, but it's uh, erythritol and tagatose and maltitol. So that one was on my nah, 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 not-so-great list. And then last but not least, you guys know that my, one that my first sweetener that I really, truly loved was the Pure Sweetener. This is just erythritol and stevia. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it in liquid. You can get it in the fine and uh, I don't know if they make the powder yet but this one is good 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 so I still have my sweeteners set those down there this is my unsweetened coconut y'all this is fine shred so when you're adding it to like flowers or muffins or whatever you can use something like this I took this and added a little of my sucrine gold which I'm out of that's the other sweetener I'm out of is my soup sucrine gold and allulose are my two babies and I'm zip zero out but I mixed a little of that brown sugar sweetener with a little bit of coconut and I sprinkled it on top of my mini muffins and that brown and coconut, they caramelized together, added a little crunch on top. Delicious. Plus you can use coconut for so many things, right? Fat bombs, baked goods, cereals, smoothies, you name it, coconut. <sighs> So wish I could see your guys' comments. I really, really do. Now, on it, on the flowers, I've got my coconut flour. I do have the lupin flour, and I have a bag of almond flour to it. I keep um, ground flaxseed and hemp seed also, but I keep them in my refrigerator. Once you open your ground flaxseed, your flaxseed and your hemp seeds, you really want to keep them refrigerated. I do because I don't use them on the daily, but you don't want them to go bad. They are very high in fat, so I keep a whole hemp seed. This is Hemp Hearts by Manitoba Harvest. It is shelled hemp seeds. Uh, sprinkle on your salad, your cereal, your yogurt. I use it and put it in my collie rice as a filler. It really helps add that real texture to any rice dish you're making. So if you're making a Spanish rice or you're making a rice pilaf or you're making a risotto style, add a little ta couple tablespoons of this uh, hemp hearts to it when you add the liquid. It, it really absorbs it and it adds to the texture of your foods. Love it, love it, love it. It's one of those that zeroes out, so it's great. Um, and then so high in vitamins and minerals. Super good. I've got my ground flax seed, and like I said, my coconut flour. So those are things there. I'll put that there and put these back over here for refrigeration. Another product that I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use, and you can see there's some really pretty full here and this is actually powdered heavy cream 
I was trying to try to figure out if I could blend this, and I'm fixing to. I'm going to step out on a limb and look for some um, sweet or extracts that are not liquid. I want to get some powdered extracts, so I'm thinking that I would like to get like a French vanilla with some heavy cream. Maybe one of these wonderful favorite sweeteners, you know, the Pure or the Allulose, and I'd like to make a powdered creamer. That's what's in my head, but... Uh, use this and if you're out of heavy cream you can use this you can reconstitute it with water so you know this goes a long ways i got it on amazon it's by hoosier hill uh who that is the same company that i buy my allulose from is hoosier hill it comes out of indiana obviously with the name hoosier um so we have four total grams of fat per ta tablespoon uh carbohydrate one Fiber zero. So it's it's one carbohydrate per tablespoon, same as heavy cream. But this is one that I'm working on, and uh, I think it has potential. You know, and it's nice to have on hand. Like I said, if you run out of heavy cream, you can always go to that and mix it up. And you could even use it, mix it with, uh, I'm sure, with things like almond, macadamia, coconut milk, non-dairy, just to make some creamers. That's my idea on that. <sighs> Lots of stuff in my pantry, right? Not a lot of stuff. I mean, you really have to use all these ingredients to make other things, but this is an 18-month collection here. <laughs> and, I, and I have given stuff away. I have uh, pumpkin spice, mint, and vanilla on my syrups. Uh, the vanilla is a little wonky on me. The pumpkin spice isn't too bad. The mint is to die for. This is what I want to use Daddy, as on a, like a yes, ice cream. So I have plenty of those syrups. My favorites are the make caramel and the maple. Shh. Okay. And nut butter. I have the perfect keto nut butter, you guys. This is made with macadamia, cashew, coconut butter with MCT oil. Um, it's really high fat. I find it to be, um, I find it to be really good, obviously a source of fat, but flavor wise, I'm not as huge a fan. And I think it's because of the MCT oil, because MCT oil messes with me a bit. And it does run a little um, thin. So you have to give it a stir and it gets kind of thick, but I would like to see something that was more along the lines of spreadable like a peanut butter. Um, but I just don't care for it. It's off-putting to me. I think this is one of the things that I'm just not going to keep actually. <clears throat> you know, taste buds change too. Um, I cannot stand the taste of coconut oil anymore. I just cannot stand it. I can buy the refined without the flavor, but I cannot abide it. And I think I hit the same spot with MCT oil. I, I cannot take it. Cannot. Um, here we go. Here's another thing in my pantry, guys. This is oat fiber. Again, it's super high fiber. It's the husk that have been ground up. It's not the actual oat. It's just the shell on, the, on it. And so it makes a wonderful... Uh, texture when you're doing baked goods. A little dab goes a long ways. It's not overly expensive. So buying this and adding it to your pantry if you're a baker is a great investment. I have co cacao nibs. I had somebody send me some and I already had some. They're a great little addition to smoothies or sprinkling on if you just want like a taste of dark chocolate. I don't use them very often um, and now I have twice as much as what I need. I need to check those. I have nutritional yeast flakes. This is psyllium husk that my daughter brought in. Um, I was sent this Thrive Package shake. I do not agree with the ingredients, so that's gonna go in my giveaway list to somebody who wants to try Thrive shake, but it's not keto. It's, it's just got all the wrong ingredients in it. Too many to justify using it. I just won't go there. So, so now I'm down to just this. I mean, this is basically all I have is this little dab of pasta. Oh, guys, this is what came in today. I'm pretty lucky. So the UPS man pulled up just before I started this live and I was delivered from the publisher 
via Jennifer Marie of Keto and uh, Low Carb Keto Inspirations and Low Carb Keto. I know I'm getting it wrong. This is just because I'm starstruck, right? So she sent me out a copy of her first cookbook and it came straight from the publishers to my house. And so I am thrilled. This is Keto Friendly Recipes, Easy Keto for Busy People by Jennifer Marie Garza of Keto Friendly Recipes and Low Carb Inspirations. I am taking this to KetoCon with me next month. And I cannot wait for her signature. We went to Low Carb Denver together. She's one of the sweetest ladies you'll ever meet. And just talented beyond talented. Love, love, love. And she was so gracious. You guys, I saw that she posted. She was at Barnes & Noble at a book signing yesterday. Her very first. I am super excited. I can't wait to join her ranks. But get her book, you guys. Um, full of beautiful recipes. Mongolian beef and broccoli. Uh, garlic butter ribeye steaks, Korean bulagi flank steak, buffalo chicken wings, salsa verde chicken casserole, creamy Tuscan chicken. This is just chuck food. Chicken cordon bleu casserole, Italian spaghetti squash bowls. She has just got the soups, stews, main dishes, salads. It's all in here. Appetizers, chocolate chip cookies. Thank you, Jennifer Marie. You are awesome, lady. So, guys, it's week 20. It's going to start warming up. I pray that the rain stays away, but from what I can tell, we've got a, a one week to dry up. Our yard needs to be mowed. The tree that fell needs to be finished being cut up. We have a pool that's been drained but can't be set up. I have a shed that needs to be we look like we are living over here in a holler with overgrowth everywhere. So I pray that the weather warms up. Get your water in. I'm looking forward to just being able to get this place in order, let me tell you. Um, keep it keto. For those of you who are starting out on trips this week, you know, don't beat yourself up if you are <laughs> off plan. Just get back on plan. You know, I don't think there's not one of us who at some point on our journey has said, well, you know, I don't think this is going to hurt me and has had a moment of weakness. Some people yesterday decided to go off plan and just have whatever they wanted or what was provided. And it is what it is. I was in Florida a week ago and I ate off plan. I had a fish taco and I had onion rings and uh, it was delicious. I couldn't eat near as much of it as I thought. And I back on track. That's all there was to it. So don't beat yourself up. Just get yourself back on track. Let's do this this week, y'all. Let's keep it keto. Um, I'm going to see what I can do about this Facebook glitch without being able to get comments. Do me a favor. Share. If you'd like to become a supporter on Patreon, I'll share a link for that. Um, as much as I can, once I, my husband gets on the road, I'll be able to sit down by this evening and share links for whatever it is. Hopefully, I can share links for whatever it is that you were interested in because I cannot see any comments. And you might have noticed that there is no Motivation Monday or Wellness Wednesday. I'm burnt on them. I'm burnt out on them. I think they're stale. I think that I will still be coming into Facebook. I'll still be doing lives, sharing products, hopefully motivating you. Um, having more fun with this. I just, I love the fun that I was having and this became not so fun every week. Um, so I want to enjoy our summer. It's to me, it's summer on the go. We are getting ready to hit, um, Memorial weekend. We've got to get some things together and guys, I wish I could have made something special for mother's day, but really we got back from that trip and it has been one thing after another with the family and budget. I didn't have the ingredients I needed to make what I wanted. So I hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, coconut muffins. Those are, I did get in time and get that recipe shared in time, hopefully for Mother's Day. You guys have a blessed week. I will be back sometime tomorrow, I think at 4 o'clock, and we're going to cook dinner together. So please show up. Uh, remember, guys, fats first, moderate protein, low carb, and to get you some. I sure wish I knew. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Water is so good for you. i got to walk around to turn this off.